Um, so guys, we went through a little bit of fitness stuff there. So what is your general, you know, week to week fitness regime that you go through to make sure you're on peak? Um, I suppose pre-season is a bit like every, you kind of mm. build yourself up because you're not racing yeah. and you're training that bit harder. Obviously in here would win. And then once you get busier and you get fitter, it's like, it's just about it's maintaining rather yeah. than training as hard. And you're probably training during the season mm. to keep your weight right more so than fitness because you're doing so much riding yeah. out in the morning and you're riding so much, it's about keeping the balance and that. And I probably would do cardio and stretches every, a bit every day. Yeah. Just keeping on top of the weight more so than the fitness you know yeah. you have to keep it i keep try to be for the i try door, to be, say, isn't it? be 55 55 and a half kg every day so yeah have to, that's the that's what you're battling more so than how long would your pre-season go for and is there anything like crazy that you guys do you don't ride a horse around for a, a couple of hours or anything no well, not necessarily um uh, i suppose we finish up in october november mm. and when you say pre-season it, it the flat season finishes, but there's also racing yeah. right through the winter in Dundalk, but it's only one meet in a week, so you give your body a little chance, yeah. you get a bit heavier because it's, it's hard to maintain mm. it all year round, but then come, say, end of January, mid-Feb, you start to yeah. back up the training again and you start to concentrate on getting your weight back down and that, mm. but um, no, nothing, nothing major, but it is, it's back from your eating normal to cut yeah, back yeah, down yeah. a bit. Your Christmas belly, yeah, like, exactly, gotta get rid exactly. of that. Yeah, yeah. I've been trying to but, get rid um, of that for years. Yeah. <laughs> Some lads find, obviously Scott yeah. is a bit heavier than I, I'm one of the luckier ones with my weight and Scott probably mm. battles a little bit more but he's yeah. foot taller than me so yeah. but he, he does well with it and he obviously might be, have to be a bit stricter on himself than I would be. So probably one of the tallest in yeah. the room at the minute so like I'd obviously have to watch what I eat so I'd mm -hmm. be on a calorie deficit so yeah. I'd be always Trying to less carbs and yeah. more proteins and whatnot. So like, I'd be a regular member in the Cadine. It's just so, mm. so there's only five minutes up the road. It's just a leisure centre, yep. a gym and whatnot. So uh, I'd be in there most evenings and do plenty of swimming. And I'd be in the steam room a bit. So like, nice. I'd use that to, yeah, yeah, to, yeah. to knock a pound or two off. Yeah. Um, yeah. No, as I said, I have to. I can't mm. eat and drink what I like, but no, it's I'm enjoying what I'm doing and. Uh, you know, the more winners, the, the, the easier it is to watch yeah, the weight. So, uh, of course, no, yeah. things, things are going okay, thank God. Nice. And now, Neve, I, I've always been told never to ask a female about her waist, but. <laughs> no, uh, I think girls have it a little bit easier than the lads. Mm. Uh, they being naturally lighter than the lads. Yeah. Um, so, like, if you're not, you, I can eat kind of what I want. Um, and I enjoy running, so mm. it's actually easy enough, but um, I'd be able to work more on strength. Oh, nice. Building up more muscle. Um, but it's still, you'd still keep running and... Yeah, yeah, yeah. you got to keep on top of it, don't you? Yeah. yeah. Do you know eating? Mind what you eat still. Yeah. Just keep on top of yourself. Jeez, lucky for some. <laughs> not even watch what they eat, hey? So what's the lowest weight that you well, that you like to ride at and what you can ride at? So I put my lowest weight just at 83 because, mm. you know, it's it's a comfortable weight for me. Yeah. You wouldn't really have to ride much lower, like... Um, okay. And it's it's a comfy way to kind of yeah you can maintain a three quite yeah. easy yeah. yeah it's pretty easy for me nice yeah well my bottom weight is nine stone but at the minute nine five has been my bottom yeah, obviously yeah. coming into the summer now getting a bit warmer mm. I'm gonna try to get as close as I can to nine stone yeah but the nine five is comfortable at the minute for me yeah. so as I said uh, no the, the the warmer it gets the easier for me because I, okay. I I do a good bit of sweating and riding out in the morning oh, so yeah nine five nine yeah. five is uh, the minimum at the minute. <laughs> I probably walk around every day 8, 10, 8, 11, so mm. the bottom weight on the flat is 8, 7 at the moment. I don't have a claim anymore, thank God. Um, and uh, so 8, 9 probably. I yeah. do 8, 8. If you see me doing 8, 8, have a fiver okay. on it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, has well, good, it has a good chance. Yeah, what do you mean by a claim? Uh, so you get the Neve, when you start off, you get, yeah. a, you get a claim. So it's for, you have a £10, £7, £5, £3. So the more winners you ride, your claim drops down. Okay. So it's just an advantage for trainers to use an apprentice jockey because okay, she yes. gets to take, you cl Neve claims seven now. <laughs> so she gets an extra £7 off okay. because so yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, and yeah, as you go yeah. down, yeah, eight to seven off to eight and really? Scott claims three, mm -hmm. yeah. So, and I'm fully professional, so that's the you know, the yeah, yeah, to even the field, yeah, 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 exactly, yeah. yeah. How did you become a jockey then? Oh, he's only, I was riding horses at home, um, and I just started riding thoroughbreds, started cantering, messing around, got a taste mm. of speed, looked into the British Racing School, um, I went up there and went to a racing yard and just, yeah. just kept on going from there, really, yeah. 
No, you can't get away from it. Yeah. <laughs> no? Yeah, well, I was obviously, since I was very small, I, mm. I was interested in, obviously, my father being a jockey. So yeah. I was obviously born and bred into to the race industry and uh, kind of went from there and I've always had an interest and went through the procedure and yeah. I was going okay now, thank God. Yeah. I never rode horse when I was 15. Um, Is that when you know. stopped growing? Yeah, well, yeah. I realised I wanted to be a hurling player or a soccer player and I realised I wasn't big enough, so yeah, I said yeah. I may take up... Tog Phil on bullying yeah, you yeah. at school, like, yeah. <laughs> uh, I went to school in good counselling, it's quite a racy school, yeah. so we ended up coming up here on an opening day and we ended up going to entry and I kind of got the bug from there and mm. I ended up coming back here to race as a an apprentice and I got sent to Michael Halfords and was spent 10 years there and went from there to Jesse and it's yep. been a good career for me since, thank God. Nice. So Scott, you're a, your old man's a jockey, he's still riding as a, you know, a bit of competitive edge and I'm sure that's where you probably got your stubbornness from. But Yeah, that's it, yeah, no, he's still he's still riding and mm. thank God, yeah, he's actually only 54 there the other day, so yeah. uh, I think he is the oldest jockey in the way room at the minute. Ah, so, yeah. uh, no, no, I, legend. I, I, yeah. uh, I enjoy racing against him, it's, it's, it's nice to have him in my corner. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, he, he he still loves the game. He, he's in um, good health, thank God. And uh, yeah. you know, it, it it is it's a thrill to, to have him in the way. Yeah. Game. Is there anything he's passed on to you? Like, surely you've got a wealth of knowledge at your door that you've. Yeah, exactly. Well, it's so hard in Ireland, especially. Mm. Um, as you said, he just he he'd be there to help me and tell me uh, like what to do more or less in races yeah, yeah. and obviously dealing with people. I think is is is, is a big thing in the industry. You have to be able to. Conduct yourself well, and obviously, sure, obviously yeah. he's, it's the he, same. Yeah, yeah, same in a lot of industries, eh? So, um, yeah, no, yeah, I'd rather have him now than, yeah. than not. Take yeah, that. have him and not need him, yeah, and want exactly, him and not have him. Exactly. Eh? Yeah, so like I, I obviously come from a very different background, a team sport where everyone's, you know, a common goal and heading in the same direction. You guys are obviously individual pursuit, and but from being here, you guys obviously are quite good friends and understand each other and probably want what's best for each other. Is there, I don't see much difference between your guys' changing room and mine anyway. Is there anything about that, you guys? Um, well, I, I suppose I've been riding quite a while now and I think it's changed a little bit over the years yeah. as it's gone on. And I don't. I think it's very competitive once you're out there. Yeah. But I think there's a lot of respect for one another. Yeah. In the way room, there's a bit more community together. Whereas when I started first, it was a bit. Yeah. I think it was a bit rougher and a bit yeah. tougher. And I think as the years gone on, people. We have, I think the jockeys have more, more respect for one another. Yeah. And I think get on a little bit better. Even though we compete with one another and we'd be very tough competitors. Yeah. We still know at the end of the day. Like you still have to go home, people have families and kids yeah. and wives and whatnot, yeah, so they, they have that respect for one another. I do think you well. find now you probably, you know, you've nurtured a different environment compared to what you went into? Is that the reason why? I think because so. Because you came through. I you think know, so. You I'm, I, I'm one of the older <laughs> jockeys in the way room now. <laughs> so, <laughs> so yeah. Um, so um, and from what I started with, yeah, looking up to what the lads are looking up to us now, I think it's it's leveled a bit, and that's. It's just with time and everything that's gone yeah. by and and thing and I think it's for the best really. Yeah, like a, like a big thing that, you know, we sort of talk about is like you you know it's such a fickle business that even we're in, but you always want to leave the place in a better place that you entered. Like they say, you want to leave the jersey in a better place than what you got it in. So it seems very similar. If you guys walking into into becoming jockeys now, you find it welcoming or yeah. there's still a few old boys that are. You've definitely got a lot of people in the in the way rooms that can support you. You know, you could go up to, you know, the older lads. If you had a question, you can go yeah. up and ask them. You know, everyone's it's a good friendship in there. Everyone. Do you find it being intimidated being a woman going into the sport? No, or absolutely not. Um, the good. lads don't yeah. treat me any differently. We're yeah. all the same. We all still go for pints on a sad day. No, but uh, yeah. we'd all go out. We're all doing the same job. Yeah. You know, there's no difference. They're That's just good to hear. Shane, so I spent a fair bit of time with Tyke Furlong, um, an absolute character, someone. Yeah, he's awesome to have in the environment. You spent a bit of time with him at school. He was a couple of years younger than you. Was he as uh, boisterous then as what he is now? Yeah, he would have been a bit younger, a bit bigger now. He was yeah. always uh, carried a bit of size and strength about him. But mm. uh, no, yeah, sure, look, he's carried all in front of him in the Ireland jersey and yeah. the Leinster jersey. And then. Um, he was a good, proud Wexford man. I'm oh, Kilkenny man, is. but I went to school in Wexford, so... Um, oh, Wexford beat Kilkenny in the hurling he, the other yeah, day, Yeah, under-20s, yeah, yeah. 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 Dodgy one, all right. Yeah, yeah. Ty but, told uh, me all about yeah, it, don't worry. Yeah, know that, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, no, Ty was, um, still is, and, mm. yeah, that's, we have a big race in school, and a big 
Good Council College is quite a good school for sports people yeah, coming yeah. through. So yeah. Well, I couldn't see Tyg on a horse, anyways. No, no, we've been That's trying to coax him. One. Yeah. Yeah, we've tried to coax him there for a while, but I don't think he bit. Obviously, the season started. Uh, what is what's everyone's goals for the rest of it? Oh, probably just to you know keep getting the rides, keep getting mm. the winners. Yeah. But you can wish for us to get the winners, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, nice. Well, I have 24 winners left of my claim, so I'm yeah. gonna try and knock as many winners off that. Try to get the fully fledged. So yep. hopefully that that's what I'm 24 more wins. 24 winners left Jesus. in my claim. So yeah. the, the the sooner I get rid of that, the, the better. Yeah. yeah, I've had a good start of the season, so we're all we'll try and keep Colin Keane on us for the champion jockey, and looking forward to Irish Champions Festival. It's yeah. always a big weekend. How many wins have you had uh, this year? Uh, 12 so far this year. Hey, Jesus. Hey, he, he's, not bad. Oh, we're after having a good start. Yeah, yeah. We're, only, we're only a month or two in, so yeah, we've had yeah. a good start. You've got to peak at the right times of the year, that's yeah, what they true. say. So, Yeah, so at the moment, Ireland are in a very, very good spot in terms of uh, how the rugby's going. How do you guys... Uh, why is Irish horse racing so good at the moment? I suppose, sir, we have, we're known to have uh, some top-class breeders, mm -hmm. obviously, um, we, the breed, and then from the trainers, from like Aidan O'Brien, obviously Jesse, Joe Lyons, everyone, Joseph O'Brien, and then the jockeys, it just seems to produce, mm -hmm. it starts at the very top, and I think that professionalism, that high standard, yeah. continues the whole way through, it just keeps making everybody better, from the horses to the trainers to the jockeys. And it's just always seems it just seems to be like that. And yeah. no matter where you go in the world, if you say you're from Ireland and you work with horses, you'll get a job or you'll get in somewhere and you'll get a chance. So yeah. we just have that name. So the reputation of Irish horse racing right now is was, yeah. was huge. Yeah. Long may it continue, yeah. yeah. Okay, everyone, thank you very much for uh, bringing me down here. It's been very insightful and uh, good luck for the rest of the season. Hope it all goes well.